Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So guys, um, as I said last week, uh, it's going to be very hard uh, predicting the markets these days with the situation with uh, Russia and Ukraine, and it is still the same. We have so many headlines coming all the time. Things have been changing, especially during this week. And so really, honestly, it is very, very hard to predict what will happen, but I will try to just keep it as technical as possible instead because that's the only thing that i really trust is what the charts as are telling us so starting with euro usd again no matter what headlines and all that seems like our uh, technical levels are still holding for now as you see the euro did drop strongly on the um, uh, on uh, thursday strongly to the downside to then on friday open uh, and uh, start moving to the upside um, what's the main reasoning how the market is reading the situation i have no idea but what we can uh, we, what we can be clear about is this level is still holding as nice support now overall it was a bearish week but not uh, as bad as my uh, at it, as it could be um, going down to the four hour time frame clearly always mostly always when the market does such uh, huge moves they uh, go back and uh, trade those levels once again so uh, will the euro continue to the downside or not that is the biggest question and that is pretty possible in my opinion as far as um, if they keep failing to, for example to break inside here we might see our, uh, still see a rotation to the downside we have one two three correction once again could be something and then one more leg to the downside is still possible i'm still not seeing why the dollar will not be um, the safe haven at the moment it is always been that way and it will uh, still be that way uh, for now uh, that uh, when we have situation like this this the dollar strength now if you want to change this idea you need to see a uh, the price going inside this level holding and then another retest to this area might happen even though even if that happened i will still see this as a key resistance level and a failure to break above it will signal a rotation back down but as first i'm watching this level on the euro for next week sterling did the same a uh, huge dip on Thursday uh, was no continuation on Friday of course things used to slow down when you have a, such a big move like this you end up going sideways uh, this is not the first time no matter what the reason is this is always what happened you get a very big move then the market slows down and most of the time they will try it uh, try to trade back these levels so they will fill the void in the price here um, my expectation next week maybe continue slowly to the upside when and if they reach this level i'm uh, actually looking for one more leg to the downside uh, as for now i don't have a reason why not to do so um, USD Jappy also playing the technical levels uh, nicely did um, strong dip lower to then bounce back up from uh, the 114.50 you know that we've been trading this level for a while and it is still a valid support for now as far as there is no break below it it is still a valid support next target should be uh, up here the 116.30 area is um, where uh, the, the bulls should be uh, looking for it is um, a um, nice uh, consolidation zone we have here and the price is still inside that zone so there is um, no um, nothing else to do if anything if you see the market uh, especially the stock market moving lower uh, maybe we will open with a gap down who knows um the first level of support gonna be this area if they hold this level they might be a bounce back up from this area but a failure to hold this level would be a retest and continuation to the downside so this is be uh, will be key if we get a correction toward that area and for more upside of course they need to break back above this level here they need to break above to then look for a continuation to the upside on this area 
Aussie did a nice push to the upside, of course, because of the stock market did move uh, back up. If we check the S&P 500, you see they uh, we've got this whole move here on Thursday and on Friday. So it was a big move. Is this market still a bearish structure for now? Yes, it is, in my opinion. And um, by the textbook, you see that we are still there. But on um, Friday, they did break above previous structure on the four hour time frame. That's all. And that's why you see Aussie, CAD, New Zealand moving higher. That's the main reason they are following the stock market. And uh, Again, uh, will this continue to the upside? There is a chance that they do so. Checking the lower time frame, you see that we might have a new range. This is the high, this is the low. Um, we might see the price uh, bouncing inside this area. For now, there is not much of a resistance here uh, until they reach the top, unless we start looking further back where we had these uh, highs here. So all in all, keep an eye on the top here as a potential big resistance support is uh, surely down here. That's where we've got the big bounce here. So we have the support down here, resistance up here. Everything in between is possible. So try to stay away of this because it might get choppy as it happened here and back here on these areas when the price in this area, things start to go choppy. So play the edges is the best way to do it. Uh, USD CAD also uh, did a reversal after the break to the upside. So we had a nice daily break to the upside to then Friday all the way back down. So it is back inside the old range. Nothing uh, new here now. Uh, we will uh, back again uh, see this as support. This as resistance since the price is inside the range. So if they keep pushing lower, keep an eye on this bottom here for a potential bounce back up. Um, on uh, as a first um, thing to do and then of course if they bro a break strongly we might look for retest and continuation toward this level instead so that's uh, all we have to do here on this market usd chief uh, pushing higher once again and um, as i said it is not the best chart to watch um, but it is now clear that this the resistance level been holding nicely um, did do so many times and um, we should still see this as resistance potential rotation back down might happen from this area but if they break above then i'm expecting potential continuation to the top of the range on this one gold um, did a huge move uh, on thursday as you see on um, as the first knee-jerk uh, reaction to the events uh, did tag this uh, key area which was marked already as a potential target but actually i was not expecting it to move so fast back down i was expecting trouble uh, i was expecting some kind of a um slow down to then start making a correction but it did a knee-jerk reaction and then boom all the way back down it traded uh, this um, or it did fill the void here uh, totally now um uh, what's next from here well that's the a, a big question because since we had this impulse we had the lower high and then back down here any break below this will signal continuation to the downside so for now where the price is at the moment is a potential support area and if they hold the line next week you might see a bounce back up now keep in mind everything i'm saying now it might uh, when the market open you might see gaps all over the place so it is really really uh, dangerous uh, times we have and i would i would really uh, recommend you not to have open trades during weekends uh, oil my expectations are still that we might see continuation to the downside i've been saying this for a while now but again more and more divergence are coming a uh, huge rejection on the daily time frame of course uh, after reaching the 100 and um, yeah i'm still expecting this to happen but we still do not have the break so when and if the breaks happen the retest if they fail to break back above i'm looking for a continuation to the downside on oil despite all what's going on this is what, what i'm seeing but Again, guys, 
this is now sitting at support so i'm not saying go and sell it because it might just still continue to the upside that selling the market right now would be trading against this uh, major uh, bullish trend as you see been going to the upside for a very long time so don't understand me wrong and um, i have my feelings i have my scenarios why so but i want to see the confirmation i want to see the daily close a strong one below then we look for retest we look for failure and then we look for continuation so don't go and sell it here this is support for now um so yeah that's it for today guys thanks a lot see you next sunday hopefully because i'm start thinking not to doing this because <laughs> it's not worth it not many views i'm not sure why what's happening uh, if it is youtube or something else but honestly i don't feel it is worth it uh, putting this uh, time here for just like 170 views or something like that we will see thanks a lot see you next week bye bye